January 1st, 1848. The Chateau Clinier of Baron Roguel. Is that Monsieur Grenway? Oh, mon dieu! Dame Catalin, what have you done? You look like Miss Piggy in the moonlight. Act 1, A Cat with Claws. It's midday already, where on earth is that feather head? So is this where I just click and it continues? It is! Well, anyway, I'll introduce myself now. Hello everybody, my name is Triple S and welcome to Aviary Attorney. It took me a while to get this game running because there was a bug where I started the game up to see like how it would all be like and then I quit without saving but then when I tried to click like continue and stuff it wouldn't work. So you had to go into a certain folder and delete some things and now I've got it working again but I I'm a massive fan of the Ezra Turner series, and I am currently playing through the second game on my channel, I already played through the first. So I'm quite looking forward to this game, as long as it works and it doesn't bug again. But anyway, there's Sparrowson and somebody else over there. Well, 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 look who finally decided to get up. Haven't you heard what they say about the early bird falcon? Ugh, too early for worms. Past the Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. There'll be time for that later. We've got some business to handle first. Business? A letter arrived where you were sleeping. I haven't opened it yet. It's probably just more junk mail. Go ahead, Sparrow son. You may have the honours. Alright. <coughs> Dear Monsieur Falcon, I'm writing to you today because my daughter, Dame Catalin, has been arrested for a crime she did not commit. She's being held at La Conciergerie Prison on the charge of murder, no less. Her trial is in three days' time. I'm going to have so much fun trying to pronounce all these words. I would be greatly in your debt if you would offer her your legal aid. Your sincerely, Senor Demi Demiao of the Demiao Estate. Well, this is quite something. I know, your first serious client in months. Not just that, the Demiao Estate is well known for its, its exuberant wealth. Even if he cannot do much for Dame Catalin, his lordship would still reward us handsomely for our efforts. Wow, so I suppose you intend on defending Dame Catalin in court? Of course! Nope. <laughs> uh, we're gonna say of course. Of course, it would be foolish to let such a good opportunity slip through our feathers. Grab your coat, Sparrowson, we're going to find our kitty client at La Conciergerie. Excellent! My Delier was getting tired from all this sitting around. Oh, but I better file away Senor Demiao's letter first. One moment, Falcon. Has been added to your evidence folder. You may access the evidence folder any time by cleaning the suitcase symbol. Ah, now they've got my wallet. I wouldn't want to lose that. Again, I recall you losing it at the New Year's party. And at Christmas. Yes, alright, we need to make a list. Oh, I have a wallet. You see how much money he was carrying any time by clicking... Okay, I just see wallet and I think bribing people. Let's make a move. Welcome to the map screen. From here you can travel to any listed area by clicking on a location, name or a location node. Areas marked with a clock symbol take a whole day to visit. Areas with no symbol can be visited freely. So, for centuries the infamous conciergerie prison has detained the accused and the condemned alike. That's currently where we are I think. At the time the door reads the heavier attorney's office, no case is too big or too small. Sp small, not small. Okay. Let's go to the prison. Falcon and Sparrowson step into the stone cold foyer of the Conciergerie prison. Solemn face guards and visitors linger beneath the medieval archways. Ah, the Conciergerie. This is the finest prison in the whole of France. The outer walls are impenetrable, the cells are spotless, the guards are well mannered. What do you want? Good day, Monsieur. I'm here to see Dame Catalin de Miao. I am a judge represents her in court. Oh, you're a lawyer, huh? Fine, fine, follow me. 
Well, why don't you for keep up? Okay. Because you're not a pig at all, you're a cat. But the silhouette in the moonlight made you look like a pig. Sigh. My papa hasn't forgotten about me, has he? No, I'm right here. Uh, Dame Catalina Demiao, I presume. You've arrived, the fantastic lawyer, Monsieur Falcon, and his petite assistant Sparrowson. The lady is knowledgeable. Don't, don't talk like that, Sparrowson. Sorry. My papa told me that he would only hire the best lawyers in town. I'm flattered. But they weren't available at such short notice, so he hired the first people in the address directory. No. Oh. You see, Falcon? I told you listing, listing under Avia Returner would pay off. Let's get down to business. Dame Catalin, could you fill us in on some details? Your father's letter was a little brief. I could do my best. What is it you wanted to know? What happened on the night of the murder? What exactly happened on the night of the murder? Ooh, let me think. It was Friday evening. Me and my papa had arrived at Chateau Clinier, the home of Great Baron Rogwell. My papa spent all the evening talking with Monsieur Grenouille and the Baron about business stuff. Business stuff? Well, the three of them own a railway company together. So all through dinner they were talking about company shares and investments, but I didn't really understand most of it. But after dinner, this man with a camera took our photograph. That was a lot more fun. Sorry, man with a what took your what? Camera is a very new gadget. A tiny bug sits in a box with a tiny paintbrush and paints your picture very fast. In ten minutes, poof, you have a perfect picture. Wow, technology is amazing. I don't think the lady's explanation is right, Sparrowson. Sure, let me believe. Still, the camera sounds like a very special device. I'll make a note of it. Camera has been added to the evidence folder. Please can you, you Dame Catalin. So, after we had the photograph, I went to the gardens to get some air, and that's when I found the body of Monsieur Grenouille. He was all ripped open. The housemaid saw me standing over the froggy Monsieur and called for help, and then the police arrived. Before I could say anything, I ended up here. It was such a blur. It must have been terrifying. It wasn't so bad. My papa taught me how to be a brave cat. Was there something else you wanted to ask, Monsieur Falcon? Oh, good. It takes away the option, unlike... Well, I guess, uh, because of this space of Ace Attorney, I'm going to be comparing it to Ace Attorney a lot. And what you can do in Ace Attorney is, you know, talk to people and ask them things. But what Ace Attorney does is it ticks off the ones you've already asked. But if you forgot, you can re-ask the same question and they can retell you what they've already told you in case you forgot. But they're not doing it this one, they're just taking away the option. And I think Ace Attorney Ways is better, but still, you know, can't really compare. Though it is kind of, you know, based off, not based off anything, but inspired by Ace Attorney. I'm going to keep comparing in my head. So I'm sorry if I'm a bit too critical about some things that seem better in Ace Attorney, but... I just, I'm not going to be able to help it. Anyway, who was there that evening? Dame Catalin, who attended the banquet that evening? Well, there was me and my papa, my dearest maman. My man couldn't make it. And there was Baron Roguel, who hosted the dinner, and his housemaid. Cool line. Cool line? Cool line. I'm going to say cool line, because it's like feline. I think she was called. Of course, there was Monsieur Grenouille. Well, until you know he died. And there was Monsieur Robitio di Robinio, the man with the camera. He was only there for a little while. Huh. I think that was all. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Did you see anything suspicious? Dame Catalin, did you see anything suspicious that evening? Suspicious? Like, uh, maybe a guy lurking in the shadows, or a blooded murder weapon? Monsieur Falcon, I do believe you are looking for an easy answer. You got me. I did not see anything, I'm afraid. The evening was very normal, the food was delicious, the conversation was boring. It was all very ordinary until the incident. I see. Wait, Falcon, you missed something of huge importance. I did? Dame Catalin, you said the food was delicious. But you didn't say what food it was! You and your damn stomach. Let me see. We had poached red, red herring. Oh, the red herring. We po poached red herring to start, garnished with garlic butter. Go on, someone's talking to me on Facebook. Ah, oh, great. Anyway, go on. Then a marbled steak served perfect bloody rare. Glorious. Falcon, write this down. What? This can't possibly be relevant to the case. Write it all down, please, for me. Fine, fine. Red herring <laughs> has been added to your evidence folder. And a bloody rare steak has been added to your evidence folder. Sparrowson, remind me not to let you talk to clients on an empty stomach. 
to think of it, I did find it a little strange that we weren't given any cutlery. No cutlery, even for the steak? Nope. You would think that the great Baron of Chateau Clinier would have a glorious, glorious, glorious or gorgeous evil one silverware, but there was none to be seen. That is a little peculiar. Is there anything else you want to know, Monsieur Falcon? No, I think that will be all. So what's the plan now, Falcon? The way I see it, we have two tasks. We should head to Chateau Clinier and try to see the scene of the murder for ourselves. And we should try to track down the supposed photographer, Monsieur Robitio de Robinho. Two days for two tasks. Seems doable. We should get head. We should get head back. Get the head back and get some rest first. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Wait, Monsieur Falcon, before you go, you do believe my story, don't you? I believe you. I believe in justice. If Ace Attorney has taught me anything, it's that I should really always believe in my clients. Sort of. Half the time, my client ends up being the murderer. Not half the time. No, what am I talking about? Half the time the client ends up being my murderer. No, it's, that's, that's the witness. But yeah, I should always believe in my client. Though sometimes it does end up being the murderer, but still. I, I believe in you. Of course, Dean Catalin. It's our duty as lawyers. And a gentleman. Do I faith in your testimony? You can trust us. Thank you. Thank you both. Dean Catalin. Monsieur Grinwy. Baron Rogwell. These names are all getting a bit confusing, aren't they? Not particularly. Is this for me? I'm going to start compiling a Facebook so that I can keep track of who everyone is. A what? A Facebook! It's a collection of people's names, pictures and descriptions in one easy to carry catalogue. I think I understand. The name could use a little work though. Sparrow has started compiling a Facebook. You can access a list of people you have met at any time by cleaning the book symbol. Let's make a move! The game saves automatically at the start of each new day. So a new day has just apparently started. But you can also make a quick save at any time by selecting save and quit from the pause menu. You can access the pause menu by clicking the cock symbol <coughs> in the upper left and by belching or by pressing the escape key. Okay. <laughs> This rock dub is named Kwaro Ryota, been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. 